We're just talking about a lot of damage down in the Norman area. Other places hit hard, too. Yeah, Norman was hit hard by last night's storms, though. News Force Bria Berry joins us live this morning, where a lot of neighbors are picking up right now. Where are you, Bria, and what are you saying? Well, right now we are standing in the East Ridge neighborhood. I can tell you the damage here is significant. Let me just step out of the way so you can see what is going on out here. Several cars, windows blown out. You see this red SUV flipped on the roof of this silver Nissan. So the damage, as you can see, is pretty significant. The shingles from this home right here on the side of the neighbor that is next door, you see the roofing material material gone uh, gone this morning and then the garage door uh, is, is pretty much gone. You see the, the homes uh, outside wall, the bricks are scattered all over um, and then again the windows in this home here blown out. So the damage significant. There's debris scattered all over the roadways here. Uh, we have glass everywhere so we are having to watch our step this morning and so um, if they made it out of this alive it's amazing. I mean, the damage is, is telling. You can see it for yourself. So this is the East Ridge community. Uh, several homes sustained damage here. We, we were driving in and, and we had to tread lightly. Of course, uh, some areas trying to get in have been completely blocked off, so you cannot even access this roadway, but several media crews are here covering the damage. So we'll give you a different perspective during the 630 live shot. So stick around with us. But right now, uh, this is the damage that you're seeing. This red SUV, man, just the winds were so powerful. This car just flipped over uh, and several cars damage moved out of its location. As you can tell here, shingles all over this um, this property here. So this is the damage that we're seeing out here this morning. Um, hopefully we can get some some um, update updated information from Norman just about the residents. Hopefully they're safe. That's what I care about this morning, but the damage pretty significant out here in Cleveland County. For now, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Well, those folks took a direct hit right yes. there. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Bria, so much. Also, other Norman residents are coming together to try to pick up the pieces left from behind, left behind from last night's storms. This area near 36th Street and Lindsay suffered major damage. Renee oh, Hurst has lived here with her husband for 20 years, and David Shumway, our neighbor since 19 1994. These next door neighbors rode out the storm only to find their homes just destroyed in an instant. And in about three minutes, the house is just gone. Took off all the windows and the doors, and wind came through. And down like something, and then all of a sudden, the insulation fell down in the, from the, in the attic inside the, the, the hallway where we're in there. Just really feel for him. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Both residents also reached out to family members to stay the night. The Red Cross has an evacuation shelter located right now at the 12th Avenue Recreation Center. That's near Rock Creek Road. Disaster workers will assess the damage to homes when those conditions permit. If you need help, it's available 24-7. Just call the number on your screen for more information. Reports